The miners' strike was provoked by the Tories. Their aim was to make the industry profitable and to break the backbone of trade union militancy. They wanted to cut subsidies and make the industry compete with cheap coal from countries like South Africa. Their aim is to crush the unions and any organisation that represents the working class in order to shut pits what are thereabouts borderline cases, <coughs> to invest taxpayers' money into your super pits like Selby and Vale of Beaver, and then eventually sell off to your private owners, your capitalists. <coughs> the, yeah. the Ridley report on the nationalised industries paid special attention to the miners. Ridley advised the government to build up coal stocks, to make plans for importing coal, to recruit scab lorry drivers, and to make it possible for all power stations to use oil instead of coal. The confrontation took place in 1984, when unemployment and anti-union legislation had begun to bite. We went into this fight to, to stop pit closures, to stop the destruction of communities, the only intention was to pick it out, those people who intended to go to work. The violence was caused because they brought droves and droves of riot police into it, and so it continued. They closed Haworth Pit the first night. There was no, no violence. Police. There were police there, but, no, but the men were allowed to talk to the scabs going into work. And that night, Haworth Pit closed. The scabs came out and they joined the strike. But by God, the next day, it were a different story. Right on, right on, right on. Drawn, do you? The strike provoked the right into a frenzied campaign for law and order. The message they hammered home was the need for discipline and authority to prevent the onset of anarchy. The miners were the enemy within. What we have seen in this country is the emergence of an organized revolutionary minority who are prepared to exploit industrial disputes, but whose real aim is the breakdown of law and order and the destruction of democratic parliamentary government. When she says enemy within, she means within the country, against the people of this country. We're not the enemy within in that case, but we're the enemy within against Thatcher because we are Thatcher's enemy. There's no way we'll let her have her own way and that's what she don't like about it. She's got to pull us down. The state used almost every weapon in its arsenal to break the strike. A mobile riot force, 20,000 strong, was deployed through the National Reporting Centre at Scotland Yard. About 11,000 miners were arrested and 1,000 were sacked. Two miners were killed on the picket line. When it came into their communities, people who are just not involved in the strike even, I mean, old women, you know, with police running through their houses with their batons, wielding their batons, you know, it's completely changed their attitude and, and especially towards the law because they know now that the law is not just and it's not fair. So these sort of traditional entrenched ideas were just, just went completely out the window. <laughs>